guys are you looking for a video that is going to help you understand how questions are to be attempted in writing task 2 are you looking for some insights on how to write a positive or negative development type of essay you have reached the right video but before we go into that do subscribe to IELTS Ninja The question I chose for today's video is based on a segment that came in 2020. So the question read, more and more people today prefer to get their news online rather than from newspapers and television. Is this a positive or negative development? The reason that I was rather uh, attracted to this particular question is because this talks about a topic that's extremely current and students have a fair chance of writing an answer that could tilt either ways. So irrespective of whether you choose a positive development or negative development, you will have enough points to write. So now let us look at what are the possible things that one could write if you were writing that this is a positive development. If I were going ahead with the stance that this is indeed a positive development, the first thing I would point out is getting your news online is extremely convenient and therefore accessible. This accessibility is, in fact, one of the flag-bearing, uh, you know, traits of online media. I would support my answer by telling that, uh, irrespective of where I am in the world, I could still get to know information about a particular location or what is happening there, as opposed to uh, news media, which comes in televisions and newspapers, which might be more uh, limited to their current demographic. Next attribute of online media that is quite positive is that there is multiplicity of, uh, you know, sources from which to select. So multiple options. So I can hear to multiple narrative at once and at the same time, it's extremely affordable as opposed to something like, uh, newspapers which might be pricier if you consider a yearly subscription. Now let us look at some of the negative attributes or what would be considered as, uh, you know, the cons of this particular move. One major negative attribute that most people quote is that most of the information that is online is non-verifiable or non-reliable. Another uh, attribute that one could talk about when we are talking about news on online media is that it is in a haste to give news instantaneously, not all facts are verified. And, and I would go all so far as to say, that stories might be incomplete. Another point while talking about why uh, over-reliance on online news could be a negative factor to a majority of population is that a lot of reliance on uh, all the industries that rely on television and uh, uh, newspapers such as advertisers are now moving online. So the same type of uh, targeted newsing, news reporting is much more prominent online rather than in uh, newspaper or TV. So tar targeted news and in the cross, you're also exposing your preferences to people who uh, like advertisers who are looking at what are the things that a particular person is interested in. 
So as you can see, when you are looking at a positive or negative development type story, depending on the stance that you take, you need to come up with points that would buff up what you're trying to say. And depending on the types or quality of points that you get, you can go ahead by telling I, that you believe that it's a positive development or a negative development. Hope these tips and insights were helpful. I'll be meeting you again with more such videos. Do press on the bell icon to be updated with some of our latest videos on IELTS Ninja. Mm -hmm.